okay? Um, women, trust in the Lord and he will continue to help you, okay? Um, if you are at one of these assemblies, um, oftentimes they try to make the older women feel like they're useless or like, you know, they're all used up. Uh, no man should want them and things to this sort. Don't believe that, okay? Because uh, if you are keeping yourself before Yeshua Christ Jesus, the Lord will make sure that uh, you look 15 to 18 years younger than you are. And he will make your spouse, uh, who has also been keeping himself through Christ, um, uh, even as he himself um, is, is in his youth, okay? Uh, the Lord states that um, the head of every man is Christ, the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. I just want to encourage you. On today I'm not uh, I know that these words are sharp and um, what I'm saying is is something that is a difficult discussion okay um, but it needs to be said and it, there needs to be a discussion and um, something needs to be done uh, to to stop what's going on um, pertaining to the older women. Women, we should not be afraid uh, to, to, to speak in the assemblies. We should not be afraid to answer questions that the younger saints ask. The younger women should not be afraid to come to us uh, if they have questions pertaining to the scriptures and things of that sort. And, um, you know, if you if you say we're a family then that's how we should be conducting ourselves in a family-like manner and not... Um, like as if we're enemies because we're not your enemy. Um, the older women are not the enemies, okay? The older women are hurting just like you're hurting, okay? We've been through all kinds of pain just like you've been through pain, um, you know, and, and probably more so than you, okay? Um, I know that uh, society has purposefully placed the women, uh, you know, above the men, we can't help that, okay? Uh, what we can do is together uh, through the scriptures is we can heal, we can learn together, uh, we can grow to trust each other, and then uh, we can grow to respect each other. Once the respect is there, that's when everyone will start falling into um, you know, their, their purpose-driven uh, positions. And um, the women will allow the men to drive, you know, to take control of the wheel. And um, we'll understand that we're all going in the same direction. Okay? Um, men, uh, in, 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 in the like manner, if you've been keeping yourself uh, in Christ Jesus, he will send you a woman that has been through many things, and all she needs right now is someone who has been through as much hell as she has been through and is just ready for peace, okay? Oftentimes, older women, we just, we just want shalom, okay? We just want peace and tranquility. Shalom wa shalom. confusion we've decided to unify we won't let the vision die we know there is a greater purpose one aim one destiny and we'll all stay aligned to what's preferred by Yah man keep his hand in the hand of Yah with woman by his side, our children will follow. And together in unity we'll shine and glorify Yah. Together forever we'll glorify Yah. In unity together we'll glorify Yah. In truth and in unity. One love, one
one destiny, one great God family, in truth and in unity, one love, one destiny, one great God family. Yeah. Nothing will ever come between us. Our bond is tight. Doing what's required and what's right. No, there is a greater purpose. One aim, one destiny. And we'll all stay aligned to what's preferred by y'all. He opened up our eyes Hallelujah. and he gave us the gifts Hallelujah. of the young We know there is a greater purpose. One aim, one destiny, and we'll all stay. 